IBF champion of the whole world. <laughs> Me. Yes. Here we are. How long have we waited for this? A long time, brother. A long time. Uh, 19 years in the making. What an incredible weekend. What an yeah. incredible fight. It went how we expected it was going to go. Dominic told me what to do. He says to me, go in there and be very accurate. You know, don't be going in there and trying to put heavy shots in there and, and get them out of there. So we went in there and we were very surgical and uh, got the job done. Calculated at the end, he'd thrown over a thousand punches in that fight, which is unusual for him. But that just shows you what he had to do to keep Jazza Dickens under control. Because every time he's off there, you could see Jazza coming back into it, coming back into it. He fought all the way through like a true champion. He boxed him obviously in 2013 for the British title, and that was a fantastic fight at the time. I think Jazza was slightly the favourite, and Gallagher came from behind and stopped him. So eventually, they both went a different path and found themselves contesting it for the, for the world title, which just shows you, you know, the level of both fighters. He's got even better since then, and I got even better since then, and that was it, you know, I was just the better man in the night. Yeah, That's all it comes down to. We're making history at the Ingle Gym. The fifth world champion at the gym, and the seventh fight of Sheffield. You know, at Sheffield we've had Nassim Hamed, Kel Brook, Johnny Nelson, Kid Galahad, Clinton Woods, and Paul Silky Jones. So, you know, uh, and out of this gym, we've even had Judy Witter, you know, uh, another world champion. So, you know, we're uh, just over the moon. Yeah. Me and him have been, been together for years, you know, on the same cards. He's always been there watching me become world champion. He's seen me do that. And to finally, you know, in his second attempt, on the first one, I believe he got the first one, but his second attempt to see him finally lift the IBF title, the one what I, what I carried, it's a great achievement, you know, coming out of this gym. Brendan will be looking down and be smiling. And, uh, you know, him and, him and Brendan were very close, so, you know, it's finally, you know, he's another one what's come from this gym and become world champion. And it just shows that all the hard work, what he puts in, he finally paid off. Yeah, I mean, that's five of you now, and you won that title. It's nearly seven years to the day we were all in LA, Kel. What a roller coaster and adventure it's been for me, you know. Uh, and yeah, I'm back in the gym training. Hopefully, we'll get, get some news soon. Yeah, it could some be some special big, news. Big updates coming. The special one with the special news. <laughs> You know, we've got a rich history of having world champions in this city and, you know, we've produced five of them uh, over the years. It's, it's, you know, it's a fantastic achievement uh, from this little gym in Sheffield, you know, following, following the Ingle system, Brendan with the lines. So, yeah, it would have been great if Brendan and Alma were here to witness Galahad winning the world title. They were very uh, close to him. He was probably the boxing son that Brendan, Brendan never had. We're carrying on um, with the legacy and uh, still producing champions under the same system. Sat here on quite a prominent little step. You know, Ben used to sit here and watch everyone walk into the gym and uh, he used to watch the ring from here. They were a big part of my life and um, obviously they've gone now. But, you know, we, we didn't, I did just do it for myself, you know, I did it for them as well. With Barry when it does add a bit of fuel and, um, you know, to see him coming into the gym with his new belt and the start, you know, like, no, I want that to be me. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it does, it does give you extra motivation. So I'm excited to see what's next for myself now and um, hopefully I can push on and, and bring him back home as well. Listen, now he's got that belt now, he's going to be very hard to beat. He's going to take over. He's going to dominate the division and, and he can move up and dominate there too, because that's what Barry is. Boxed on the Saturday, he was in the gym Sunday morning. He was in the gym up here Monday. It's an honor to be around it. And I keep saying it, I'm in, in a world-class gym. I'm with a world-class coach. I'm surrounded by world-class fighters and a world-class medium man. <laughs> you were the main man at the training camp. Listen, I, I don't know. Listen, I, I just helped as much as I can. You know? I, I would never say no to not being able to do anything. I would always give my all and I would just try my best to help him. So that's all I did really. And I hope it worked for him. I think it did, to be honest, so... <laughs> I did speak to him, he did say it was perfect for him, so listen, it means the world to hear that back from him. Obviously, he's an amazing fighter and now a world champion, so he's an absolute true professional in and out of the gym. He's a top, top man and couldn't happen to anyone better. We're going to try and get the first defence out in, in Sheffield in the, hopefully the next couple of months, and then we'll see where we go from there, try and get unification. Then probably move up. It's just the beginning for him. It's just the beginning. I believe he's gonna be undisputed. He's gonna win everything there is to win. I never um, met or saw 
uh, guy so dedicated and that worked that hard as him so he deserved or everything so yeah if anyone deserves it more it's definitely Barry um, and now if anything it's more motivation for everyone else in the gym most of these kids here you know they all live their life just like me they're no different to me and uh, all of them are better than I was when I was their age <laughs> And as long as they stay dedicated and, and put in the hard work and you know they all can be world champions. He's, he's a brilliant role model for the gym. It's like you, can, you can't not train hard in this gym because you know Barry's there every single day putting 110% in so it's, it's impossible to slack in this gym. I used to spar Barry when I was little because my granddad Brendan he used to make us spar Barry as a joke. I was trying to hit him and because Barry was so good he just dodged everything. <laughs> But now it's got to the point where I can give him half a good spa because I practice and it's tired now. I can I can give him half a good spa. I'm not gonna give him the best spa, but you know, no one can give him the best spa on how good he is, no matter how good you are, so it's just something to help him with. You know, uh Sham, you've been here a long time and um you've been here since Johnny Nelson, haven't you? Yeah. You know, so you've Junior been Witt, yeah. Junior Witter, Kel Brook, now me. It's unreal, mate. Unreal, Show mate, me that yeah. belt again. Yeah. Tell me what that means to you. IDF champion of the whole world. Not a little bit, but the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Barry.